Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got my second episode in the score prediction series. Now since this will be the international break, obviously there's going to be less games on in the league. So there's only going to be six games that I'm actually going to be making predictions for here. So the likelihood is it's going to be a shorter video. But without further ado, let's just get right into this. Accrington versus Gillingham. Now to be fair, this is an interesting one because um, Accrington actually haven't lost a home game since December. That's, that's a Pretty crazy fact, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't think Accurate much were actually that good at home, but they are good at they're a pretty good team at home, so you're banking on them to get a win or at least a, or the, or a draw at the very least here. And then Gillingham, like the they pick up the form a little bit, but I just I don't know that I just don't think they've got enough in them really to like really get a win, like unless it is against the team who were in around the relegation bases. Gillingham, they aren't a team who score many goals. I think they've Scored the second a few, few scores this season. Um, only, only Doncaster scored fewer, and that's only one goal fewer. And although the, although Akron don't really get involved in like high scoring games, I still think they'll probably come away with, with a victory here. Really, I can't see anything but Akron winning this one. But I don't think I don't think it'll be goal fest either. I'm gonna go with a one nil home win for Akron. I don't I don't think it'll be, it'll be a very pretty game, but I think they'll get the job done here. Wimbledon against Cambridge again two teams who were in rotten form like I'm pretty sure like their last five games are almost identical again Wimbledon haven't won since December that whole narrative you know we've, we've been there done that we already know about that Cambridge who are a bit weird you know they've like throughout the season they've gone on get, like runs like winning runs and losing runs and they're currently on a bit of a losing run right now haven't won in a while but to be fair Wimbledon are just a they, they're just crap. They are so so bad. Wimbledon, I'm not gonna lie. I think I think Cambridge are due a win, and uh, I mean like it's funny because Wimbledon also drew a win, but I think Cambridge are probably gonna get a victory here. Again, these two teams aren't really too fond of scoring too, that many goals, and they also don't concede many either. And uh, to be fair, like both teams don't really get bad at it. Like to be fair, like, like again, like literally a draw is probably written all over this one, but I'm going to go with a Cambridge win here. I'm going to go with a 2-0 away win for Cambridge. I reckon they'll probably get back to winning ways there. Doncaster versus Charlton. A few, a few years ago, this was the playoff semi-final, but now it's just a game where the home team are almost destined for relegation in League 2, and the away team are just mid mid-table, like who have got nothing to play for, really. And again, Doncaster, they, to be fair, they are the low scorers in the league and are the second... And I've conceded the second and my highest amount of goals in the league as well. So usually you, you, you expect them to get absolutely battered, but with Charlton, like they are like there's again like similar to the previous two games, Charlton don't really score goals and too many goals, and they don't really concede many either. Like to be fair, there are teams in the top half of Cuff who concede more goals than what Charlton have. So again, it, it, it again it probably a draw written all over, but I think Charlton. They're looking pretty good right now. They've won the last two games. Keep, keep clean sheets in both of them. Doncaster, they've they pick up the odd win here and there. And this is probably a fixture where you probably would expect them to, to maybe get like a shock result. But I'm going to be backing the away team, Charlton, for a result here. I'm going to go with a 2 1 away win for Charlton there. It is a bit risky seeing, oh, I reckon there'll be three goals in this game. I reckon Doncaster will fucking score. Like, like it, you know, it could happen. It could happen. Like, like this league is pretty unpredictable. If it's against Plymouth, a huge, huge game at the top of the table. For me, Plymouth have probably got their playoff spot confirmed after that uh, they went against Cheltenham on Tuesday. Ipswich, it's not really over yet for them, but it's looking pretty unlikely. And when you've got a team like Plymouth who are pretty informed right now, like Plymouth won the last six games, keeping six clean sheets in the process. However, Ipswich have also go, have, go currently on a t 10 game unbeaten run. However, they have, I believe they've drawn more than what they've won in that, in that run. So, I mean, it's, like, please do correct me if it's just fans there. I believe that is the case. And again, I think, I think this will be a pretty good game of football. Just like Oxford against Ipswich was last, last week again. I think this will be a good game of football. And, I, and you know what? I think Plymouth's win and run will come to an end here. I just think that Ipswich will have too much really for, for Plymouth to really deal with. And I suppose this probably is the start of Plymouth's pretty tough run, and you could say... Although I'm, I'm not too sure myself, but it could, I could be, it could be the way to go. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I'm going for a draw on this one. I'm going for a draw. I reckon there'll be a still mate. I'm gonna go two-two. 
both teams like, like to score goals, so two will draw here. I think that's probably going to be a fair result. Although I, 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 I like, I wouldn't be surprised if Plymouth fucking won this one three 0 Sheffield Wednesday up against Cheltenham. Sheffield Wednesday, it's like they've, you know, since they beat Cambridge, they've dropped four points against Accra and Gillingham. So really, this is a sort of fixture where you'd be like, basically, you'd expect them to do the same here. But I don't know. I think they could actually get a result against Cheltenham. Because obviously, as we know, Cheltenham, they're, like, they're not a great team. Like, yeah, I say great team. Like, they got a result against Wimbledon last weekend, but, you know, they lost against Plymouth. And apparently, they played well against Plymouth as well. Like, like I didn't watch it, obviously, but apparently, they played well, so who knows. But I suppose, you know, Triff Wednesday at home. Like, yes, all the doing is accurate in that one time. I think. I think, I think. I think they'll probably. I think, I think this is definitely a game where. If you need to get back on track on, on a win run, the Cheltenham definitely needs the team to get that against. I think Sheffield Wednesday are going to get a pretty big result here. I'm going to say 3 0. Sheffield Wednesday home win. Could be pretty risky. Would not be surprised if Cheltenham won this game, but hey ho. Shrewsbury up against Lincoln. Now, it wouldn't be me if I wouldn't predict a 0 0 draw in at least one set of the. In, in, in at least one of these games in every single game week, and I'm going to do that here. Two teams, like, like to be fair, like, it would be pretty weak with Shrewsbury. They're, they're doing pretty well right now. 5 0 win, like a Morecambe 3 0 win against Rotherham. They're going to be high as on confidence right now. So I wouldn't be surprised if they actually win this game. But Lincoln, Lincoln likes to frustrate teams. Like, Lincoln's defense is alright at the minute. So that's, 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 that's what I'm running. Like, like to be fair, like, if Shrewsbury can break Lincoln down, fair game. But. Mm, I don't know. It, it'll be it'll be interesting. It'll, it'll be interesting one this one. I'm gonna say nil nil because both these teams aren't really like the most known for playing nice football. But at the same time, I wouldn't be surprised if Shrewsbury absolutely blew Lincoln away. So there's that there. And that's it. That's it. That's in the video. That's a fucking short video. Like to be fair, like I knew it wouldn't be that long. But fucking hell, like how many done eight, eight minutes yet? Jesus Christ. <laughs> but that's gonna be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoy. If you did, then be sure to give it a like. And um, since um, Sunday on play this weekend, there will be a different video out on Saturday, which will be me talking about the League One promotion and relegation battle, and giving my final predictions. So if you guys want to see that, then definitely stay tuned for that. So um, make 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 sure make sure you get, uh, that you are subscribed, and also t turn on the post notifications as well to be notified the second I upload the video. Cheers, guys, for watching. I'll see you all next time.